Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna respond to a request for a video that we're gonna install Windows 10 Lite made by Ghost Spectre on a virtual box and then we're gonna install the ISO or mount the ISO on a USB drive for installation on another computer as per request. And uh, this should be fairly easy, but it's better to make it on video so everybody can learn something. And in, when you open uh, virtual box, you are presented with this screen here here you go to new and at the new screen you can uh, put a name for example I'm gonna do just win 10 light and I'm gonna name it go since it was made by go specter and the folder I will leave it to I will take it to the folders that I usually put my virtual machines and I'm gonna put it here and virtual box and select that folder it's just for my arrangement iso file is gonna be this one here which i already preloaded i have it here on the desktop the iso file and here i'm gonna do skip unattended installation because a lot of times that doesn't work and for some reason just it's best to skip the unattended installation and do it manually hit next and here we are gonna give it the uh, ram let me put let me put around four gigs of ram and let me give it two processors and i'm not gonna enable uh, efi let me uh just go straight with whatever i have right now virtual disk i'm gonna leave it for at 50 the rest i'm gonna leave as is at default and hit finish and at this point you have the iso preloaded here to start uh, installing the windows 10 on virtual box and it's just as you would do in a computer it start here and when the screen comes up that prompts you to click bu any button to continue and all that good stuff you just uh, do that as you see the windows logo just as it appears on uh, regular installations comes up here specter logo which is the makers of this uh or modifiers of this uh windows 11 version which is the lightest version so far and we'll just uh, keep on going and here we are at the start screen i'll hit next here to continue uh i'm gonna go with compact i'm not gonna go with a i'll go actually super light without the uh defender because it's gonna be a little bit uh faster but i suggest if you can go with the defender just uh, to be a little bit safer you know it, it's gonna take a little bit more resources unless you're installed it in a machine that absolutely must have all the resources available like you say only you have two gigs of ram alone and you have a i don't know core du core 2 duo processor or something low then yeah you could you could possibly risk it without defender but if you're installing it for offline use and you're not going online with that machine just go with a super light without defender it will be much much lighter and it will work just fine and now let me just uh, speed up this process here until next screen and now we get to this point that uh we just do the rest of the setup i'm gonna leave the password blank like i usually do because i don't want a password on this one it's just a virtual machine that i'm doing for this tutorial but i suggest you put a password if you intend to use this machine it's just safer for your personal data and whatnot and now we are inside the uh, windows 10 Lite built by specter and yes you have to restart it after the installation is done in order to, in order for the system to recognize our devices and i'm gonna hit yes here and let it do its thing and again when you see this screen don't hit any key is you will restart the installation from the beginning and here we are inside uh go specter which uh seems to be working pretty good and here have the devices you can uh go to network settings and you can do uh, the nav which is the attached or you can do bridged adapter and you can connect it to whatever you have on your main computer and i'm just gonna go with the main one and it should work but for some reason it's not doing its trick right now i'm gonna hit yes and yeah it works it just took its time to start and uh here you have the ghost toolbox that has other stuff that you can install here and uh, just wait for it to start as you see this is the toolbox that you're presented with and uh i'm not gonna download the new one i i know it has a new version probably but i'm just gonna 
go ahead and show you what it has quickly before we jump to showing how to put the same uh, Ghost Spectre Windows 10 Lite on a USB for booting it on another computer that you might want to do a standalone install or a dual uh, operating system installation. And here are all your options. You can, uh, since uh, you don't have a browser right now, when you install it, first thing I would do right here, I would grab a browser and I'm just gonna go with Brave here, number 18. And on the end here, you type uh, 18 and hit enter. And you can do 64 or 32, which is 86 written. I don't think much, many people have uh, 32 anymore. So option is gonna be one and hit enter. And it will uh, download Brave, the browser. Browser. You can choose any other browsers that you like, but yeah, this one I, I, I felt like it was needed to tell you to go to Ghost Toolbox first to install a browser at least, so you can at least navigate the internet. And here we have browser. It's installed and it's uh, working. For example, I'm just gonna hit google.com just to see that it works. Yes, it works. Let me hit youtube.com. Uh, okay, here's youtube.com. And uh, let me see if we can pull our own channel here on the deck. And yep, I am right. Okay, guys, here. this is the video. And yes, it plays actually videos. We go to the last video, for example. Hey guys, so uh, welcome to. Because this will be scheduled, by the way. Another video today. And yes, we are it. Uh, it works or whatever you want to do with your toolbox and you you have so many things that you can do here installers for example 7-zip you will need later for zip files driver easy i'm not sure if you're gonna need that one but uh yeah you have media players you have uh standalone windows updates windows recovery and on and on and on and that's pretty much it and you have here devices if you want to add more for example you have guest additional cd image and all that the keyboard inputs you can view in big Big screen small screen and all that stuff you can switch right here and as you see the screen became even smaller and besides that that's all for the virtual box part of the story now let's jump to the other side of the story i'm gonna actually let me do a real shutdown here okay the other side of the story is installing this uh system on a usb and uh, that should be pretty straightforward uh i'm gonna go with uh rufus just because it's a little bit easier personal preference i guess rufus and here it goes hit yes when prompted i already inserted the usb and it's gonna be this one right here 32 gigs yes it has bliss os because i was testing it before i well, don't know that i'm gonna uh change the uh iso and we're gonna go to our desktop and we're gonna do the windows 10 ghost uh iso image and i'm gonna leave everything else you can do either gpd or mbr and you can hit start if you're installing it by the way before i hit start if you're installing it on a very old machine I suggest you try first MBR because it's for the older uh, BIOS version uh, styles. But if your machine is uh, uh, after 2010 or 12, most of them will work fine with GPT. And for the rest, I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm not going to touch it. And I'm going to hit start. And yes, OK. And yes, OK again. And let it do its thing now. And you are ready to go once this uh, process is done. You have a bootable usb drive with a windows 10 super light ghost specter and besides that i will leave links in the description for ghost specter website and for rufus website and for virtual box and i hope your uh request was pleased with this answer and with that said i'll see you next time i'm not gonna wait to finish this because it will just go to the end and i'll have to click close and take the usb out that's all and i hope you learned something and i hope you're gonna hit like and subscribe that helps enough and we'll see you bye